Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. In this demo, I'm going to show you how Security Onion picks up NMAP scans from a Kali Linux box, or this could be any other box. I have my own environment set up in a VMware workstation. Please make sure that this environment does not have internet access, it's just host only. So be warned about that. If this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe for more updates. This channel is dedicated to building some skills for security professionals. And today we'll be working on offensive skills. That is, we'll be attacking our Metasploitable box from Kali Linux. And you want to see how Security Onion responds. I logged into my Metasploitable box and I ran the command if config. As you can see, my IP address is 10.10.10.130. That is very important for us to be able to identify that attack later. Right here, we are in our Kali Linux box and we also want to identify what the Kali Linux box IP address is. So you type if config and you can see 10.10.10.128. So our metasploitable box is 130. Our Kali Linux is 128. This is very important when we are trying to correlate events later in our security onion video. In order for us to scan our machine for reconnaissance purposes, we can run NMAP. The easiest version of NMAP is called ZenMap. And if you go to Applications, Information Gathering, you get a GUI version of NMAP called ZenMap. Our target, as we identified, is 10.10.10.128. .10 .10 .10 we want to do an intense scan. This can also be uh, achieved by just running nmap from the terminal using this command nmap negative t for a negative v, then the IP address. So if we do we start scan, you will notice that nmap will start identifying a lot of vulnerabilities on our target VM. Metasploitable, as, as most of you might know, is a very vulnerable machine that is used for security learning like we are doing right now. There's a lot of open ports and there's a lot of vulnerabilities. So that's why you probably don't want this to have internet access. So as you can see, our NMAP is discovering a lot of things. Let's uh, switch to our Let's just switch to our security onion and see what it says. So I have to sign in. If I go to squill, so by date and time, as you can see here, is a our security onion IDS has already picked up a lot of things, including uh, suspicious inbound SQL attacks. It's coming from source IP as we have identified 10.128, which is our Kali Linux. Destination IP, as we, we know, is 130, which is our metasploitable box. So this is how the attack would look like in real time in our um, Security Onion. So Security Onion is able to see this traffic. As an analyst, you, there's a few things you can do right here. You can right click over here and update the status of these events. So for example, this potential VN, VNC scan. You want to update its status as a recon. So you can use F6 or just categorize it here. This is the error that I've been getting, but I was able to fix it. So we will do that. So you can also follow 
or switch to Kibana from here. I want to look up the source IP, actually maybe destination IP. This will redirect us to Kibana. It will automatically search for that IP address and Kibana will show us all the events related to that IP address. As you can see, you can view by data type or you can just scroll all the way down to see all the events that have been. So as you can see, source IP address is 130, destination 128, but we want the other way around. We want to see what has been coming from our Kali Linux box to 130. If you expand here, you can actually see the message for the event. So we know that the originating IP is this, protocol is TCP, this is the duration. What we can also see um, if there was any responses from the machine. So this So this is how you use Security Onion to identify events coming from inside your network that are TCP scans, as you can see. There is a lot of vulnerabilities on the Metasploitable box. So I'll be showing more of these demos in more videos. So if this is your first time and you haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe to my channel and we'll continue to learn how to triage events in our security onion environment, we we'll also continue to learn some security skills that are highly needed in today's job market. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.